Afternoon all and welcome back to the WTF and we have special guest Paul Bennett who is designed and built a rather unique uh, high voltage power supply uh, which we are going to use to <clears throat> power this uh, 3500Z linear amplifier which you may remember I built uh, a few months ago. Now the reason why we've decided to build something like this is that traditionally uh, high voltage power supplies uh, for amplifiers, you know, are big bulky things as you can see by this power supply here. This is a traditional high voltage power supply which I have done a separate video for so if you want to see how, how this has been built you can have a look. It's, it's, it's typically with a high voltage transformer, uh, rectifiers and this is the old school way of building amplifiers for, uh, sorry, power supplies for linear amplifiers. So what we've got here is a rather unique uh, device. This is essentially a high voltage uh, switch mode power supply and we've just been testing it on this 3500Z linear amplifier to see how it works. Anyway, I'm going to ask Paul, Paul, if you can explain how this all, work, how this all works because it looks really complicated. Yes, well, another mutual friend of ours was asking whether it would be possible to convert a low voltage switch mode power supply to, uh, to make an HT power supply. So that got me thinking, now maybe that is possible, but it is quite hard work. So it looks easier to me to do something to start from scratch. So here I've been playing with this nice little uh, variable frequency chip which is used for resonant power supplies. So I've been able to adapt that to make an HT power supply which is a resonant full bridge circuit. So the way it works is, um, at minimum output it runs at high frequency, um, well away from resonance, and then to get more power then you reduce the frequency and you approach resonance. Also to uh, make the best of the diode performance, particularly the reverse recovery performance, the circuit uses uh, an output voltage multiplier, so the transformer required then doesn't need zillions of turns, it just needs to provide some isolation from the mains. Um, so we've got it laid out on this chassis here, the stuff at the back is just some mains conditioning, some filtering, some soft start, uh, a small low power transformer for uh, 24 and 15 volts with the control circuitry. And then we've got the full bridge circuit on the left, on the top here, and then down the front we've got the driver circuitry with the frequency modulation chip and some uh, uh, transformer gate drives. And then that drives the bridge, the um, resonant circuit, which is these two inductors driving this transformer. And then these silver microcapacitors, the yellow capacitors, they're the output tuning. So they form the resonant network with the two um, toroids. And then that drives an uh, eight stage voltage multiplier. So the negative end is grounded through some current measurement circuitry for the, for the transmitter and the positive goes to the transmitter and the, so the drive actually feeds the middle of the bridge so the isolating transformer as well as we're isolating the mains is isolating approximately half the DC output voltage. So we'll give it a quick whirl and see how it performs driving Justin's transmitter. Right we're going to test this thing, we've got everything set up, we've got, we've got a transceiver here which is producing about roughly about 40-45 watts of drive <clears throat> and we're on 160 meters and we're into a dummy load from the output of the linear. So we've, got an R, we've got the linear connected to an RF power meter, a standard SWR meter, so around about mid scale, it's 0 to 3 kilowatts is the uh, scale, so around about mid away is, is roughly about a kilowatt. <clears throat> we're expecting about maybe about 800 watts output with this, but as, the main, the, but as, as we mentioned before, as Paul said, the, the HT for the linear is all coming from a switch mode power supply which is on the top there. So I'm going to key the amplifier and we're going to give it a bit of drive. So there we're going. I can't read that at the moment because it's a bit too far away but it looks about 800, 700 watts. And if we look at the plate current we are drawing around about just under half an amp of plate current for the uh, two 3500 Zs. Right, as you can see also, <clears throat> in addition to having about 600-700 watts out, take a look at the voltage. I'll just switch it on and off again. The voltage hardly changes. Now, one of the, one of the features of analog high-voltage power supplies is they are, they are very, very saggy. 
which obviously affects the <coughs> the plate impedance of your of your uh, valves. So with this setup, the HD voltage is, hard, is hardly changing at all, which is absolutely fantastic. So I think that's quite a good demonstration. Uh, I'm hoping to try and build one of these and we should be able to make linear amplifiers a lot more compact, much smaller power supplies, which will certainly aid the portability and also keep my back in good shape. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.